So we're out in the van, not in the van, in the car. And we've come to a beautiful part of Northumberland. If you're a National Trust member, get on Cragside. We'll have a look around. There's loads of people around, so there's not much talking. amazing all the trees the trees are still standing after the storm as well there wasn't really that many knocked down all right so we'll come back in in there we're going in so we'll just come up this uh, path of doom can he uh, can he pull we're about 600 feet now I'm gonna go. We're gonna go this way. Ah. Whatever that means. We're gonna go this way to the anonymous tarn. Anonymous tarn. Anonymous tarn. Tarn with no name. The tarn with no name. That's what that means. And then we'll climb up to the rocks and go up to Nelly's moss. Nelly's moss. Oh, I'm zooming in again. So when you come along here, you're quite high. And then look over there, it's the Simon Side Crags. Walk them many of the time. Camp, <laughs> done a lot of camps up there. Look at it. It's a perfect autumnal walk, isn't it? It really is. And look at the weather, compared to that bloody debacle last night. <laughs> Just having some. Millionaire's shortbread, it's lovely. A bit of energy. Oh, this is the basin tank. And the basin tank was used to hold the water when it would come down from <coughs> Nelly's Moss and the North Lake. And it would be fed down and it would end up here and they would keep this just as an extra supply. And then it would go down to the house. Hmm. That's it. What's the house famous for? It was the first house with hydroelectricity. Hydroelectricity. Yes. And it was it was performed by Robert Louis Stevenson, who wrote Treasure Island here. And the cure. The cure. <laughs> the cure weren't until the 1880s. <laughs> Aye, so that's it. Armstrong. There's loads of facts here, like. It was Armstrong who flew to the moon. Neil Armstrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He, he was the first person to use a hydro-powered, hydroelectric-powered rocket to get rocket to the moon. To get to the moon. It's true. Danger, deep, cold water. Do not swim. I think. Don't think we'll be swimming. Basin tank. Oh yeah, basin tank. Yeah. Basin tank. There you go. Look, there's the old pipe work there. Look. No, the old pipes. Yon old peeps. They always wanted to have it all going again, but it was just going to be too expensive. Yeah. The National Trust. Oh, and getting twenty three pound per person to it's hard to isn't enough to cover the cost. Twi I the shop be paying for it like with that blooming ridiculous price. Here. You used to live here. I used to live here. Why you never said? I did. <laughs> I used to live here. <laughs> I worked here for many years. <laughs> so here we are. Here we are at Slipper Lake. No idea why they call it that. Look at it, look at the reflection on the water. It's beautiful. Slip a lake. Just trying to get the dog to go in. Because he's daft enough. Look at the surroundings. The sun is bright, man. I brought my sunglasses. And we're going to continue. There's more lakes around the other side. Here we are, right up high again. Is that Rothbury? Yeah. The village of Rothbury. I've done a van tour around Rothbury. Look at these pine cones on top of the tree. That's natural, that. Oh, so we've come up this path with all these huge boulders at the side of it. <laughs> We're just going to 
continue. There's a little bridge. A little bridge, I love a bridge. Let's have a look at the bridge. <coughs> There's a lot of climbing in this, we're right up high again. Mm. Ooh, yeah, you gotta watch you wear decent shoes if you come here because slippy rocks. There's a nice bridge. With the view. That's the view off the bridge. Fancy a coffee halfway through. There's this. This is here. And toilets. If you bring your kiddies, there's a play area there. There's loads to do here, like plenty to do. We're going to head down to the lake and wander around the lakes. I think we might have a coffee like. We're just passing by and we're seeing a sea lion. Crazy dog. So this is one of the lakes. There's two, isn't there? Yeah. Is there another one up there or something? Mm -hmm. All right. So, that's deep, isn't it? Yeah, we used to come and swim when everybody went home. Shh, don't say it. The boathouse, where they keep the boat. And that's the lake, where they use the boat. This is the other lake, this is the second one. Again, deep. There's a big gap between them there. And we're gonna go walking all the way around. All the way around, all the way around the other one. And then, I don't know, after that, somewhere else. Amazing place. This is highly recommended. It's worth 23 quid. Get the membership. Get the I join the Scottish National Trust. You'll save a fortune. So this is the other side of the lake. The first lake, we were just over there before, on them great slabs. The road runs all the way around, and you can just park up this car park so you can come down the slabs. There's picnic tables, it's a brilliant place. There's loads of picnic areas, there's plenty of room. Even if it's busy, there's loads of room for everybody. That's one of the joys of this place. It's nice and big. Oh, that sun's bright, man. I forgot my sunglasses, didn't I? Yep. So we're going to go down here, down into the, so the lake's just there. This is the road you can drive around. So we're going to go down here to the gun walk, where Frankie Armstrong used to do his shooting. He used to shoot peasants, I mean pheasants, probably peasants as well, like. Amazing. Stand next to that giant boulder there. A giant boulder, like. It's, it's, it's big. How'd that get there? I don't know. Please, oh, please explain how that got there. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll just keep heading through. This is a Crag End car park. Oh, look at these blimmin' giant rocks. It's mad, isn't it? There's a car park, nobody here. I don't think anybody knows about this. I didn't know about it. I've been here loads of times. Look at it. Big pattern on the wall. So we're gonna have a little break here. Something to eat in there. Uh, five minutes, because we've walked. 
Done a quite, quite a walk, 3.8 miles, just walking around here. Come in this bit here, look at these. Those giant place, crags. Crags, they call it crag side, isn't it? Because <coughs> it's all crags. Look at it. Amazing. We've done, we've done more than four miles now. Still a couple of miles to go. You might not get it all done in one. I'm holding it in. I'm holding it up for you. I'm holding it up. Look at the strength. Get through quick. Quick. Get through. I'm through. I'm through. I'm saved. I'm saved. Amazing. Amazing. Imagine if it fell. <laughs> Damn. Anyway, into a cave of doom. A right cave of doom. Aye. Oh, gotta get back out now. Way high. Easy. <laughs> Who's coming? Who's going to visit? We're not far off the house now. It's coming around here through through another folly. <laughs> Under the bridge, go up to the bridge. Let me on the six year old. <laughs> oh, Rollo! He just knacked, knacked himself trying to climb up. The sea. See? This is what happens. Good boy, man. Here we are then. We're at the house. This is Cragside House. Doing a bit of work on it. But this is the, the main entrance there. You go in there. They've got a shuttle bus for people who can't get around as much. And we're going to go for a walk down here, I think. So this was the first house in England to have electricity. Um, it was Neil Armstrong. Who went to the who went to the planet Mars and he built his rocket here in the tower. That's where they launched the rocket from. Buzz Lightyear was the driver. Stop it. It's true. Stop it. It's all true. <laughs> He's laughing because he knows it's real. So there you go, that's the history of the house. The first house in the world, I think, to have hydroelectric power. So there's the bus away, now you get a good look at it. Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? I mean, it's somebody's house. Coming down to uh, um, all the workings of the hydroelectricity bit. Look, there's the Wheel of Destiny. The Wheel of Destiny. Hydraulic farms, right? So you can have a look at this. Freeze the frame around about there. Aye. We'll take them up to the Thompson Vertex Vortex in a minute. We've got to go along here. To a famous nightclub. Oh, uh, look, there's the there's the walk. Freeze it there as well. Big old turbine. And this is the most famous nightclub in Newcastle. The powerhouse. The powerhouse. So let's have a look inside. Oh, look at this. These are the old batteries. Right? Old batteries. That they used to use in the house. Mm -hmm. And then you've got turbines. A Peloton, a Pelton water wheel. Turbines. Still, still turn, still move. And you've got all this is uh, interactive. All these interactives. Let's talk a bit more about Look at that. Look at that machine. Amazing what people can build, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
It's known as The Gorge. Look at it. See why. In the gorge. We're coming to this bit. We'll go up here. Oh. Like that. At the old famous Iron Bridge, the house up there. This was uh, rebuilt not so long ago, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Or like refurbished, repurposed. I don't know what it was. Look at that though. Loved it. Such a nice walk, isn't it? Six and a half mile. Yeah, we did the we did a long one, didn't we? Yeah. So if you come around wear decent shoes and bring some yeah. something to eat, that's the house up there. So I'll just leave you with these views for this area. I'll be back later on in the van. Well, I've ended up in the van on the coast. I was going to look up for the dogs. There's a doggy sitting. So I've just come away on my own. Not going to do much, like just sit here and chill out. And uh, have an alcohol free Guinness. Again, another one. Nice, them like. Ready one. Feet up, chill out. So that's it. Well, it is the morning. <clears throat> oh, I'm on the busy road. Tides way out. See it? With the big beak. Curl you. So I'm just sitting here having a cup of tea. And I'll be away soon. Just had a nice chilled out night. I was in bed early, like I was tired. Absolutely good after that walk. Hey, so. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to get out camping. But the weather is being just very spiteful. <laughs> We're about to get hit by a hurricane as well. So once that's passed, I'm going to try and get out again. And uh, that's it. Do some more videos, right? Hope you've enjoyed this. Nice little wonder. And we'll see you for the next one. As Dolly Parton said, I'll see you when you get there. If you ever get there.